Okay, I get it. Not everyone likes to work with pivot tables, and sometimes you really don't need to create a fully functional pivot table, especially if you just want to spot check your data. So instead of creating a pivot table, you can use some simple formulas along with a twist on a technique you probably use every day to make your life easier. Now, you might be asking, why not just use a pivot table? And that's a fair question. So for the record, pivot tables are very powerful, one of my favorites in Excel, yet they do have their drawbacks. One of which is they are locked in place, and this can lead to a lot of scrolling just to look at the pivot table. Another is if the source data changes, you have to manually refresh the pivot table, which can lead to a lot of aggravation. So instead, how about we look at a unique solution that might help you out? For example, let's say you have this list and want to keep an eye on the total for each of these subcategories. To do this, the first thing is to get a list of all our subcategories. And for that, we can use the unique function. So we can click up here, type equal, unique, open parentheses, and then just select our list of subcategories, press enter, and there we go. Now that was easy. The next step is to total up the sales for each of our subcategories. And for that, we can use the sum if to calculate those numbers. Now, normally people would type this function out, but for today, let's use a fill in the blank method for the people who are not fans of typing out formulas. Let's go up and click on the FX icon and do a search for the sum if. Now, in case you're unfamiliar with the sum if, think of it as being circumstantial addition. You're going to tell Excel to add up certain numbers that meet a specific circumstance or condition. After you search for it, you want to make sure to click on sum if singular and not sum ifs plural. Then just go ahead and click OK. And from this point, it's just fill in the blanks. So for the range, let's select all of our subcategories, then click down one row. And for the criteria, let's go up and click on the first item from our unique formula result, which in this case is the large bag. And finally, for the sum, we can select our sales numbers, click OK. Now from here, just drag our formula down and there we go. Not too bad. All right, let's test things out on two fronts. First, how about we change our sales numbers? For example, we can change the sales of, let's say the large bag to a new number and our data will update. So that's good. And for the second test, let's change one of our subcategories to something else. Let's say, for example, how about we change this large bag into, let's say, a canned good. Okay, that's cooperating as well. And while we're here, how about we sum up these numbers and then apply some formatting just for good measure. Again, not required, although it gives things a nice touch. All right, now it's time for the magic move. We're going to create a linked image that we can move to wherever we want, and that will eliminate the need for a lot of scrolling. And if the data changes, the image will update automatically. To do this, it's really just a twist on what you already know, and that's doing a copy and paste. So let's start by selecting our data, and then we'll copy it. Next, we'll go up here and click on paste. And the icon we're looking for is the one in the lower right corner, and when you hover on it, it reads linked picture. We can just go ahead and click on that one. And we can see that we have indeed inserted a picture. Now, because this is a linked picture, if our data changes, no matter if it's the numbers or subcategory, the image will update automatically. And that's pretty cool. We could also drag the image around. So if we need to modify the data deep within our list, we can just make the change. We can see the change reflected immediately and now there is no need for additional scrolling. And for the most part, that's it. However, let's back up and look at another way to do our calculation. By chance, you have the latest version of Excel. You can replace the unique and sum if functions with a new function called group by. The group by function allows you to group certain parts of your data, then do a calculation on that group of data, along with giving you a few other benefits. So let's take a look. If we start by clicking in a cell, you can make the case that typing the group by function is pretty easy. So let's go ahead and type equal group by. And for the first part, Excel wants to know what cells we want to group together. In our case, it's the subcategories. So we'll go ahead and select them. 
then type a comma. Next, Excel wants to know the numbers for the calculation. So for that, we can select our sales, then type a comma. The next part in our group by function is telling Excel what calculation to use. So in this case, we want to add the numbers up. And since the sum is already selected, we can press tab, then type a comma. And for the last part, Excel wants to know if we want to include any headers from our list. Let's say we do, and to accomplish that, we'll type the number three to display them, close out our parentheses, press enter, and there we go. Now, as we can see, Excel gave us the same results as our unique and sum if formulas did with the added bonus of including the grand total. So that was a nice touch. And from here, all we need to do is just format the data, copy it, paste it as an image like we did before, and we are all set. As a side note, by chance you're not a fan of typing out the formula, you can always go up here and click on the FX icon, search for the group by, and then just fill in the blanks if that's your choice. All right, so where do we go from here? Well, if you want to get creative, you can open a new window, then arrange them side by side to have your data on one side and the image on the other, and that will take away from you always having to drag the image. And frankly, there are a lot of possibilities that stem from this, which was the goal of this video. And that was to get you to think about Excel in a different, non-conventional mindset. All right, and that'll do it. Now, before you go, feel free to check out some of these other awesome tutorials. Feel free to leave a comment below. Don't be shy about using that like and share button, and we will see you next time.